Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this text pop-up typography animation in After Effects. Now you can use it for any kind of text, so let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we'll begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main, width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now let's create a solid, so right click new, let's create a solid. And for the colors, you can pick whatever you want. I'm going to pick this little bit greenish sort of color, something like that. Just click on OK. Now we can start adding our text. So for that, just select the text tool. And I'm using this Montserrat font and I'm going to use the semi bold font, but it's completely up to you. You can use whatever you want. So let me just click and I'm going to type the first letter, which is M. So I'm going to type motion, but it's completely up to you. You can type whatever you want. So here we have our text. Now I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger and we're going to type like character by character. So let's select this and I'm going to create a shape from this text like that. Now we have this and we are ready to animate it out. So first I'm going to press P for position. Let's add a keyframe and also let's search for path and let's add a keyframe for that as well now select this press u now we can probably zoom in and now we can start editing now i'm going to just zoom out and i'm going to let's scale this up a little bit and let's just place it over here like that now i'm going to move like a couple of frames ahead and i'm going to just place it where i want my text to be and we can actually make it like a little bit down below like this and just play around with the final position so i think this looks good and let's play around with the other things as well so somewhere around here i can just move this keyframe over here and in the beginning i'm going to just select these points and let's just move them further apart so that you can see that as rm comes in you can see that it will have this extended part and it will go back to its original shape like that now we can select the keyframes press f9 to ease them now let's go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph now you can select the endpoints and i'm going to make the graph to look something like that and now if i press play you can see we have this sort of animation where we have this text coming in very quickly we can probably move this like little bit ahead as well so i think this looks good to me now we are ready to add our second text now let's select the m and we can type our second text which is the o and again let's select this right click and let's create a new shape from text now let's select this and for this one we can use a simple scaling animation let's move the anchor point over here so you can hold on the control key select the pan anchor tool and you can just simply move the anchor point let's move it to this point this part and let's place it somewhere around here i'm going to press s for the scale and let's press u let's trim this and somewhere around here we can like have our o coming up so in the beginning i'm going to like set this to zero and let's do the same thing so somewhere around here we can just make it like really big something like that perfect again we can do the same th type of easing like that or maybe we can just play around with a couple of more options so let's just change it to something like this let me just increase the gap a little bit so i think this looks perfect now we have to just keep on doing this to all the characters so somewhere around here we can probably get rid of the m so let's select the layer press ctrl shift d to split the layer and delete the rest of the part now again we can select this and we can probably type t now let's select this right click and let's create a shape from text now we can make it up like that let's press s and let's scale this up quite a bit something like that looks good now we can just place it wherever we want again let's press p for position and let's search for path over here as well so we are basically doing the same thing on all the text layers now let's select the layer press u and in the beginning i'm going to move it like down over here like that and also for the path i am going to just 
select these points and just move them like really down like that now as they are like moving up you can see that we have this sort of motion again we can play around with the keyframes let's do the same easing as well perfect now if i press play you can see we have our t now let's just play around with its position and we can probably make it like a little bit like that perfect so we have our t and in the same way you can like just keep on adding the rest of the characters and i'll come back once it is done so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so now i'm done with the text animation and let me just quickly play it out so you can see that i have animated all the characters and i'm writing the motion word so after this we can have like final word appearing up but before that let's add some more animation to this so for that we can do one more thing let's add a null object and i'm going to select all of these layers which we have over here let's parent them to the null now we can select the null and press s for scale and p for position now let's press u and i'm going to just start animating it and let's try to match all of these keyframes so let's select them press u so somewhere around here we can have these two keyframes but in the beginning i'm going to like just scale this up quite a bit and we can probably like move it to this side so something like that now we can select the keyframes press f9 and let's change the graph to look something like this and there you go now we have this sort of animation perfect so as the m appears we can like start moving towards the o so somewhere around here at this point so once the o starts we can probably like zoom in and we can probably like move to this side and we can probably zoom in a little bit more like that again we can play around with the easing or we can like play around with the easing at the end as well so let's just keep on going so we have the o and after that we have the t so we can probably select the null and let's just scale this down and let's try to move it somewhere around here perfect now where we have the i we can probably scale it down even more and let's move the null point over here now we have the o at this point and we can just move it to this side and we can probably scale it up as well like that and we have the last letter which is the n and as it is appearing we can make it like a little bit smaller and let's just place it somewhere around here so there you go now we have this sort of motion now we can select everything press f9 now let's go to the graph and i'm going to just change it to look something like this and let's select this point select everything and just move these points as well perfect so now if i press play you can see we have this sort of motion and at the end we want our final text to appear so for that we can do one last thing so let's select this and let's move somewhere around here and i'm going to just move this like completely out of this frame and i'm going to just scale it down a little bit like that and let's just move it to this side perfect now here we can select the text tool or if you have the older layer as well you can just enable it up and let's type our text now this one we can make it like little bit bold so i'm going to use the extra bold let's place it in the middle and let's press s to scale this down to the final size which we want 
so i think this looks good now we can select this and let's just parent it to the null as well so let me just quickly trim this out and we can probably move this like a little bit further away and let's just place it in the middle there you go now we have our animation and now we can play around with its scaling as well so for this one we can press s and let's add a keyframe so somewhere around here we can just make it like a little bit bigger and at this point i'm going to just scale this to 100 percent now let's select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and let's change it to the same thing like that and we can probably select the last keyframe and just move it out a little bit let's do the same thing with these curves as well so let's just move it like that and let's select it from here perfect so here we are done with the easing and let me just quickly play it out so we have all the characters coming in and at the end we have our final text now we are ready to add some more effects to this so first i'm going to select all of them then right click let's pre-compose them and i'm going to call this text comp and just click on ok and after that i'm going to create an adjustment layer so right click new let's add an adjustment layer and on this one i'm going to type echo effect let's drag it over here and first thing i'm going to change the operator from add to maximum i'm going to set the number of echoes to like negative 0.001 and number of echoes we can probably set this to like 25 or 50 whatever you want now this will make your system like a little bit slow but it's completely up to you you can just play around with these values now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and let's place it on the top and on this one i'm going to apply fill effect and let's drag it onto this so you can see that we have this little bit of moving outline and you can play around with its color as well so i'm going to just make it like this color and then just make it lighter like that so let me just play it out so here you can see we have created our animation and in the same way you can like type out whatever characters you want and just animate them individually and you will have this sort of animation so i hope you learned something from this video and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one